What's left of Uwan, also known as Fungwang, is impacting Okinawa today. We have a little tropical wave impacting the southern Philippines, specifically in Mindanao, bringing some scattered showers there. And we'll take a look at the long-range forecast. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. Always do my best to inform, educate, and keep you posted out here. And in Okinawa today, our military friends out here in, of course, all the Japanese people here as well, but I, I specifically shout the military. Most of you, that's where you're watching from with these English updates. And uh, yeah, you got some heavy showers kicking on through. What is left of Fungwang is actually passing right overhead and it's interacting with some cooler air towards the north and really kicking up the winds. In fact, take a look at this. This is just offshore of uh, Okinawa towards the west, gusting up to 78 kilometers per hour. I've seen some gust up to 90. Look at that. Actually, some uh, right out there in the peninsula up to 80 there on Okinawa Honto. Point is, it is windy out there today. We got the storms kicking on by with some showers. Just an unpleasant weather day. But on the plus side of things, this is moving along. In fact, let's just watch this as we go ahead through the rest of um, tonight into tomorrow. It kicks off towards the east pretty quickly. But on the back side of it, the wind doesn't go away. We're still going to be looking at a solid breeze from the north, which is attached to the upcoming cold surge spilling in so on the back side of Fuwang is after this passes overhead and brings this rain and just messy conditions overnight not a good beach night there you go the back side of it is going to kick up the next cold surge aka the Amihan as it's known in the Philippines further towards the south and that's going to usher in some bigger waves but much drier cooler air as this shifts towards the east so some Pretty solid showers here, though, across Okinawa and the southern Japanese islands as we go ahead through tonight and into tomorrow morning. It tapers off. And this is that high-pressure ridge, though, back towards the west. Behind it, that kicks in, and look at that. The cold surge season starts to set up. We do have our little tropical wave down here towards the south. Actually, it could increase showers for parts of Vietnam as it kicks off towards the uh, the west here. You can actually see that passing over Visayas and Mindanao. Not much, um, not an organized storm. I just want to point that out. But, you know, it is bringing that. And plus, it's going to interact eventually with the northeast monsoon. So once again, places like Da Nang back here towards the west, really going to see that increase in rainfall eventually as it kicks off into that direction so yeah that's um kind of the big topic in the tropics but fung wong still just those messy conditions not going through the courts or anything like that you see below me here with the military but just something to keep in mind all right so here's a look at the broader satellite picture and let's actually zoom in on our little tropical wave it is a it's part of the ITCZ, and actually satellite imagery it really shows it dissolving. It pulses during the daytime, just not an organized area, but it is bringing still some scattered showers. Can't take that away. Actually, had somebody say that there was some localized flooding in their location in Mindanao, and that's definitely still a possibility anytime you see the easterly set up like this with some passing showers mixed in there. So here on our Friday, parts of Mindanao and Visaya still seeing showers and a few stronger thunderstorms there. And then if you look back towards the north, at least on Friday, a good portion of Luzon on is seeing improving conditions especially after um uwan but uh we're just going to start to see more showers along the east coast with cloudy skies continuing to pick up in those locations all right so let's take a look at that long range guidance and i'm already getting a lot of questions and somebody actually said robert stop addressing the fake news and i absolutely want to that's why I'm reserving it to the end of this. And I'm not addressing the fake. I'm not addressing the questions people have been asking because I have been asked this over a dozen times in my private messages. Robert, is there going to be a storm on the 23rd to the 24th? Somebody is sharing the GFS showing a big fat storm. And look at this. First off, Meteorology 101, if you look over 300 hours out, models are going to have Airs. The longer you go out, the the, the chaos theory, the more uncertainty it's going to have. It's hard to predict the future. So if you look a week and a half out, of course there is going to be uncertainty in that. All right. Yeah. It's just the dynamics and the atmosphere are so complex. And even here in 2025, you still have a range of uncertainty. You can even see here with the GFS ensembles, we go out to the 23rd to 24th. Okay. Technically, it does try to show something here, but it's like this just big blob of uncertainty, which the GFS is going to do 300 hours out plus so yeah if it wasn't for all the questions asking about it i probably wouldn't even address it to be quite frank with you i think that it just me saying it leads to some 
credibility towards it but the reality is it's a phantom storm it's nothing to worry about what do we want to worry about right now today though is still our ongoing tropical system over okinawa the recovery efforts taking place in the philippines after tino and um uwan here and by the way today is the anniversary of um now it's dot now it's fading to me ruby i believe it's ruby uh the one that hit cebu like 35 years ago today let me real quick I, I gotta pull it up i just saw it here and i know where to find it so you're gonna stick with me as my computer loads you probably already know the answer here by the time uh, this comes up and of course it's stalled out but i think it's that one it's ruby um anyways i think it's 35 years ago today just absolutely devastated cebu and the visayas region and just yeah it, it's one of those notable storms uh out here uh rubing ruping god what is wrong with me ruping goodness gracious actually let's pop it up yeah so not a laughing matter very serious storm uh just wrecked cebu and uh looking back at it oh my goodness 1990 so it would have been 35 years ago at least i got that date right um i'm gonna do a little something on this later on today because absolutely devastating storm and uh if you remember this one let me know in the comment section down below but another example of yeah this time of year we get some big storms just near the anniversary of debt Yolanda, of course, we just had Tino, and now, yeah, looking back at 1990 at this one, which is why I'm going to end on this. Always remember, stay safe out there, okay, friends?